All the new pets coming into Adopt Me's Japan Egg Update. The Japan Egg Update comes out in two days. Today I'm showing you all 12 of the officially confirmed Adopt Me new pets coming into the update. But first, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and comment down below what your dream pet in Adopt Me is. I'm going and selecting a few lucky winners to go and get their dream pets completely for free. Let's start off by going and checking out some of the official pets that are already in the game. To do so, you need to go and fly over to the banner where it says the Japan Eggs Release Date Countdown. And as you can see, there is actually two birds that Adopt Me has confirmed to be inside of the brand new Japan Egg. As of what these names of the birds are, I'm not 100% sure, but these are the first two of the 12 pets that Adopt Me is going to be adding into the brand new egg, which is going and replacing the Woodland Egg. So if you haven't stocked up or you need to prepare, I have an upcoming video, so be sure to be subscribed to notifications and I'll show you a video on how to prepare for this update. But as you can see this is one of the first birds. This bird over here is what I believe to be called a red crowned crane which is a type of crane which has a red crown. Logically making sense since it has a red head. As for what this bird is I'm not 100% sure so I'm going to let you guys in the comment section go and decide what you believe the name of this bird is so be sure to comment down below what you think this is and tell me what it is because I have absolutely no clue. The next few pets that Adopt Me has officially confirmed were actually in one of their sneak peek YouTube videos, so let's have a look. In this video they do give us a glimpse of the Gumball Machine which is very exciting, as always it seems to have the same odds with a 5% chance of a Legendary. I believe the rest of the odds are the same, 22%, 19 and 34, let's check that out, 22, 19 and 34, so all of the odds are the exact same, some other differences include the map's design, which seems to have changed, we have a new tree, we have some pink cherry blossoms, a typical um, Japanese type of tree, there's also like some temple things out there, which means they're decorating the outside of this area, so if you want to go and glitch through, you'd be able to go and see the decorations that they go and do here which is also interesting and yeah this this gumball machine looks very strange because we know that the eggs are actually going to be glowing neon the first time we are ever going and getting a neon egg in adopt me is going to be the japan egg as this thing is basically a lantern and lanterns have light so inside you go and get a cool pet, but the actual egg glows, which is pretty interesting actually. Maybe Adopt Me's just going around the world and releasing different eggs based on different countries. We've had an Aussie egg, we have the ocean egg, I guess the Aussie egg's the only other one which is relative to a location. But hey, maybe they're gonna go and celebrate different cultures and have different types of pets. So there could be, at one point, an American egg or an English egg. That would be fascinating. Anyway, I do like this map. Let's continue to check out what this looks like. Okay, coming in at number three, the third pet I have never heard of in my life, a Tanuki. Tanuki, I don't know how you pronounce this thing, but what in the world is this? It's kind of adorable, I've got to confess, this thing is very cute. It's very jumpy, it's got a cute face, it's got a cute body, it's, it kind of looks like a, a raccoon mixed with a panda. I've never heard of this animal whatsoever. Okay, I had to google what this thing looked like in real life out of fascination and it's kind of adorable. It's classified as a raccoon dog. This is cute. And then this is what it looks like in Adopt Me. You know what? Pretty similar. I'm definitely excited to go and get this guy. I bet this guy's probably only like a common or an ultra rare. No, probably not even an ultra rare. But it looks really cool. And I can definitely imagine seeing like these bits glowing neon and all that fun stuff. So we can see this guy do a little backflip and then he sits down like that. This is really awesome. Alright, coming in at number four is a Koi Carp. A koi carp is a type of fish, definitely something interesting, typically associated with Japan. In Japanese culture, a koi carp would actually travel up a waterfall and turn into an amazing dragon. So that's where dragons typically originate from, is from this little fish. I do like the colours of this thing, a classic red and white combo, it's pretty cool, it's a koi carp, a pretty expensive real fish, and these things are a pretty animal in real life, so I'm pretty excited to go and get this, definitely something that represents Japan well in form of a fish. 
This guy just jumps around and flops, and then coming in as one of the other pets is this. So Adopt Me confirms some of these rarities. I have a video dedicated to showing you all of the new pets rarities coming out later on my YouTube channel, so be sure to have notifications on to go and watch that. But this is a Baku. What in the world am I looking at? Everyone thought that this was literally a Kirin, you know, the pet that already exists in Adopt Me. Let's go and grab you all a Kirin. Um, it, it literally looks like a Kirin combined with an elephant. I kid you not, it, it literally looks like that. So here's the Kirin, and then here's the pet. I guess it's literally a Kirin combined with an elephant. The reason why, because it's got like these orange eyebrows, it's got like the teal color. This has orange eyebrows, teal color, and um, basically all the fur is orange and the same colors. This one's slightly more blue, and it just has some elephant um, tusks and an elephant trunk. So if you were to go and get this thing and combine it with the lovely elephant, you go and get the new Baku pet. I've not heard of this thing before, apparently it's some type of traditional Japanese culture type of mythology animal, it's not like something that actually exists in the world at the moment, maybe it did as a dinosaur, I'm not too sure, I don't know enough about the Japanese culture to know what this thing is, but it's definitely, it's a colourful pet, it's very crazy, lots of things going on with it, it's got like some funny spiky ears, it's got like lots of tufts of fur, it's got uh, tusks, it's got a uh, trunk, it's got everything you need to make a fascinating, interesting Adopt Me pet. Okay, so Adopt Me hasn't officially confirmed every single one of the new pets yet, but there are some more which they've gone and shown us, so let's have a look at what those are. On the official Adopt Me Games page, we will see that it says Adopt Me Countdown Now, and as we can see, we have a snail. That is right, there is a snail in the cover art for the countdown, implying that yes, in the Japan Egg, we're going and getting a snail. I'm not sure what this is, I imagine, if anything, that a snail, no offense to the snail, is probably gonna be a common or an uncommon. If this snail is legendary, then that will be kind of hilarious. It's either a, I'm pretty sure it's a snail. I don't know what type of snail it is. It's got a giant yellow shell. You guys can let me know if that means something down below in the comment section. What does a yellow snail mean? This just says a new egg coming soon. Can you guess what pets are coming? I just showed you all. You don't need to guess. Well, I've showed you all of the officially confirmed ones. Adopt Me will be going and surprising us over the next few days with what some more of these pets look like. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel with notifications to find out exactly what those pets are. And also follow my Roblox profile at Cookie Cutter YT. Click the three dots and press follow. My goal is to get 100,000 followers. And I'm only 6,700 followers away, so be sure to follow me, it allows you to go and join me in-game when I'm on Adopt Me. Which means you can be in the videos.